chasing that rodent. Egg, fine, but why? Look, I know it's in your nature to chase rats, but a bite from a sick rat could be really dangerous. Dangerous? Like how? Excellent question. Allow me to explain by answering this ratty riddle. What happens if a rat bites you? Zoom in! Imagine this. You're playing with your pet rat and suddenly... Ouch! It nibbles your finger a bit harder than you expected. At first, you might brush it off. It's just a tiny bite, right? Nothing to stress about. And most of the time, you'd be right. It's no big deal. But here's the thing. Every once in a while, a rat bite can lead to a rare illness called rat bite fever, RBF. This happens when certain bacteria sneak into your body through the bite. There are two types of bacteria that cause it. Streptobaculus monoliformis and Spirillum minus. Which one might affect you? That depends on where you live. For instance, in North America, Streptobaculus monoliformis is the usual culprit. Over in Asia, Spirillum minus is more common. The good news is that RBF doesn't happen often. Still, it's worth knowing what it is just in case. So, let's dive into what could happen next. When harmful bacteria enter your body through a bite, they hitch a ride in your bloodstream and use it like a superhighway to spread through your body. As they travel, your immune system jumps into action and that's when you start feeling sick. Common symptoms include fever, chills and joint pain, which usually appear about a week after the bite, even if the wound looks totally fine. The type of bacteria also affects the kind of symptoms you might get. If it's Streptobaculus molliliformis, you might notice a weird rash on your hands and feet along with joint pain. But if Spirillum minus is involved, the symptoms can take longer to show up. Instead of a rash, you'll probably deal with swollen lymph nodes, recurring fever and swelling around the bite. Here's the bright side. Rat bite fever is completely treatable. If you see a doctor quickly, they likely give you antibiotics and a 7 to 10 day course is enough to wipe out the bacteria and stop the infection. But here's the catch. If you delay treatment, things can get serious. Yes, the bacteria might spread to your joints tissues or even major organs like your heart or brain. In extreme cases, untreated RBF can cause dangerous conditions like endocarditis, heart inflammation or meningitis, brain infection. That's why acting early is super important. Of course, prevention is the best cure. So, how can you avoid rat bites? Start by being cautious when handling rodents, especially wild ones. If you have pet rats, keep them in a clean and healthy environment. Always wash your hands after touching them or cleaning their cages and avoid eating food that might have been contaminated by rodents. The bottom line a rat bite might seem like no big deal, but it's always better to be safe than sorry. So, stay smart, stay safe, and keep enjoying life with a little extra knowledge on your side. Trivia time! Did you know that household pets such as dogs or cats 
exposed to rodents can carry the disease and subsequently infect humans? Yes, and untreated cases can have a mortality rate of up to 10%. Hope you learned something useful today. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. Never mind.